Yeah, I didn't hear too much news coming out. Um, I didn't want to rush and try to put anything out, but they said Jamal Charlo is in talks with a guy named Thomas uh, Lamana and call him Cornflake, Thomas uh, Cornflake Lamana. And I didn't hear any other fights about him uh, happening. I know a lot of people said that he was going to fight Andre. I think that's the Charlo they were talking about. Big Charlo fighting Andre. And um, now they're talking about somebody named Thomas Lamana. Yeah, I didn't want to rush on the Andre fight because I didn't hear nothing about that. And uh, who he could fight next. I didn't hear too much news about it. So a lot of stuff turns into somehow rumors. Because I know the last fight, they was talking about him fighting Morel. Then Morel moved up. So that was like one rumor. But other than that, I haven't heard too much. I know they was talking about him and Caleb playing at one point. But Thomas Lamana, that's the guy they talking about Charlo fighting. That's definitely who they talking about fighting right now on the Tank Undercard. Versus uh, Lamont Roach, December 14th. I haven't heard anybody else talking about that. I guess this is the guy um, they talking to right now. So I guess Andre, what, he was an option or they doing something else for, for him or with an opponent or something? I don't know what it was. But uh, that's fight not, that fight's not happening right now, so. Kind of surprised. I don't really know what's going on as far as the car. I know it's a lot of shuffling going on, so I didn't want to report nothing until it was actually like concrete. But this is the guy they're talking about right now for him to fight. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. They had Caleb Plant fight a guy like um, what's the guy? McCombie. So this might be like a McCombie. This is like a McCombie level type fighter. So yeah, I can see that uh, definitely happening. But I don't know. These cars are they trying to leave something until Caleb Plant possibly fighting Charlo? I know that still was an option. I know uh, Caleb Plant wasn't looking past that. They need to hurry up and try to make that happen, man. That fight long overdue. That fight long overdue. They should have went ahead and made that happen. That would have been a good matchup. Yeah, that I would I would have liked to have seen that fight already. Maybe they're just kind of foreshadowing to that fight with these matchups. And they're not really doing too much right now. Maybe that's the uh, what's going on. Because maybe they're just getting Andre and saying, okay, we're just going to have Charlo. Because if they have Charlo fight Andre right now, maybe they setting up, what, Caleb Plant next or something? I don't know. I don't really know the matchups right now. But maybe that could happen. I would still like to see that fight. But if it doesn't happen, like, within the next six months, I think the buzz for that fight going to go away, to be real. I'm going to be honest with you. Because people still asking for it, but, like, 50% of the people kind of, like, forgot about the whole situation and the buzz behind it. So they kind of like, ah, uh, I forgot about that fight. They talking about Caleb Planet or Berlanga now. So that happens in boxing. If you don't try to put it together this fast, Fans be like, man, I want to see another matchup. So that's probably not even the top matchup they want to see from Caleb Plant right now. That's how long they waited to make the fight. I know the schedule kind of messed everything up, but happens.